continuing with the mechanics of drawing body plots by hand here we are going to look at complex poles and zeros here we're going to look at complex poles this is the transfer function for a complex pole this is how the complex pole pair looks in the uh, complex plane uh, this is the transfer function by bringing omega 1 divided by omega n square outside we'll call this portion of the transfer function as g dash now this part as you know will go into the body again as shown in the previous lecture we'll substitute s equal to j omega and this is the expression we get now this is the imaginary part this is the real part we'll look at the magnitude now we just take the magnitude of g dash and that is essentially root of the real part the whole squared plus complex part the whole squared and if you take the magnitude in decibels 20 log to the base 10 of the magnitude we get this expression now we'll examine what happens as omega tends to zero as omega tends to zero this part becomes zero this part becomes zero so everything underneath here ends up being a one root of one is one log to the base 10 of one is zero therefore this is zero so at very low frequencies the magnitude for a complex pole is zero as omega tends to omega n this becomes a one so one minus one is zero so you and this omega divided by omega n becomes one so you end up with two four zeta squared root of that is 2 zeta so you're going to get minus 20 log to the base 10 to zeta now notice what happens when zeta becomes very small uh, log 10 log base to the base 10 of 2 zeta becomes a very large negative number very large negative number times minus 20 is very large positive number in fact at zeta equal to 0 this becomes infinite that's essentially called resonance so if you have a, a system with zero damping and you um, vibrate it with the sinusoid of the natural frequency the resultant amplitude becomes infinite and finally when omega tends to infinity this whole expression tends to minus infinity and omega is very much greater than omega n you can neglect one with respect to this and this whole thing is much greater than this term so you can neglect that you end up getting minus 40 log to the base 10 omega divided by omega n now let's look at the phase phase is essentially the angle you take the angle ends up with this expression this is a real positive number angle of that is zero so we'll focus on this one that angle is tan inverse of two zeta omega divided by omega n divided by one minus omega divided by omega and the whole square now we examine what happens for different values of omega when omega tends to zero this whole thing tends to zero so tan inverse of zero is zero so very low frequencies the angle of a complex plane pole is zero when omega tends to omega n you get a zero in the denominator here so tan inverse of infinity is 90 minus of that is minus 90 so when omega tends to omega n the angle tends to minus 90 and when omega tends to infinity you can prove that the angle tends to minus 180 this is how the actual body diagram looks the blue part is the actual body diagram the red lines here are the asymptotes this is the corner frequency which is omega n for the uh, amplitude plot the amplitude plot after the corner frequency falls at minus 40 decibels per decade corner frequency first corner frequency for the phase plot 
is at omega n divided by phi to the power of zeta where zeta is the damping constant so the phase the asymptotic phase is zero until the first corner frequency asymptotic phase is minus 180 from the second corner frequency to infinity where the second corner frequency is omega n times phi to the power of zeta for any omega greater than omega n amplitude is given by minus 40 log to the base 10 omega divided by omega n for any frequency between the first and second corner frequency on the phase plot the phase is given by minus 180 times log 10 log to the base 10 of phi to the power of zeta times omega divided by omega n whole thing divided by zeta times log to the base 10 25 the zero is essentially a mirror image of the pole the corner frequency of omega n the amplitude remains zero till then then it climbs at 40 decibels per decade for any point omega greater than omega n the magnitude is 40 times log 10 to the base log log to the base 10 omega divided by omega n this is in decibels two corner frequencies for the phase plot just like before the phase is zero till the first corner frequency given by omega n divided by phi to the power of zeta the corner frequency uh, the um, phase is 180 degrees positive 180 degrees from the second corner frequency omega n times phi to the power of zeta till infinity for any omega between omega n divided by phi to the power of zeta that's the first corner frequency and the second corner frequency omega n times phi to the power of zeta the phase is given by plus 180 times log to the base 10 phi to the power of zeta omega divided by omega n whole thing divided by zeta log to the base 10 25 so the general rules for constructing body plots by hand are so rewrite the transfer function to separate our body gains draw the gain plot and phase plot for each factor mark the corner frequencies for phase and gain plots add all the resulting plots at all corner frequencies and draw the resultant plot